what is going on guys it is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys I got a little part two to some upcoming releases uh, that I'm looking forward to in the sneaker game here there we go just adjusted my camera angle a bit but that's basically what the topic of this video is going to be is just running through some ones I've discussed before already uh, some are new that I've actually recently loaded up so I'm trying to get you guys in a loop here and make sure you uh, make sure that you remember uh, these releases when they do drop because some of these again have loaded on loaded off and they're just kind of gonna uh, surprise some folks but I don't want y'all to be too surprised if you want more content like this feel free to check my Instagrams or you guys can check my group out down below again don't forget we've been doing a lot of daily under market deals lately uh, Jordan 4s Jordan 1 lows concepts SBs for under market tons of things like that I hit 10 pairs of pandas manually today uh, or not manually but with our botters so if you want to see the success right there on the screen actually I'll pop this up so y'all can actually see it right here as well so as you guys can see here is actually a, a member getting a pair with our in-store monitors $125 pair of reimagined threes and then also you can see 10 pairs of pandas this is a cook for me right Right here uh, with our botters and it's just using the ACO services that we offer so we can show you how to make more accounts to have them ran and hit more and then also daily under market deals backdoors we have giveaways free food feel free to join our wait list down below and you can even get entered into a giveaway so feel free to go get entered in this if you're a member so again stay tuned announcing winner on, for this one on March for, uh, March 31st but hope to see you guys in there uh, and see everything we offer there but that's it let's get started so the first one I want to discuss I'm getting into that one next but the first one uh, is going to be the Uto Horigome uh, SB Dunk Low and hopefully I pronounced that correctly. I might have uh, mispronounced that, but basically this upcoming SB Dunk Low, this is for, I believe, uh, the Japanese skater. Uh, he is, uh, he's been uh, partnered with Nike uh, for a while now from what I know, and he's actually pretty successful in his area, and now he has an upcoming SB, which is pretty nice to see. It has pretty simple uh, and kind of laid back colors, which I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with. I do not think this is anything like too amazing or too crazy, but I'm not saying that it has to be. You know, I like the little touch we have by the heel here. We've had that with some recent SB. Uh, Fly Streetwear is one of those ones I can think of recently where it's kind of had something similar to this with a little logo here. It was just a little fly uh, with Fly Streetwear, but this one seems it's like uh, some feathers potentially. I think I think that's what it is, but I could be wrong. I'm just looking at this from a little bit of a distance. I need to put in like some contacts or something to view that a little bit better. But overall, when you're looking at the sneaker, it looks like it's a very simple laid back shoe. Uh, and I do like this portion by the back as well. I feel like they could have done without maybe the brighter colorway because I do think that this pink by the heel throws off like the whole entire sneaker sneaker that's what I think but I'm I, again it's not like it's like ruining the shoe like this is still a very wearable shoe like if you were to wear this for everyday wear beaten up it'd be very comfortable and very nice to wear around I'm sure and it'd be great for skating I mean they, they are SBs it's what they're meant for uh, at the end of the day so overall it looks like a comfortable shoe it looks like it's you know pretty decently done with design uh, and of course with the recent hype of SBs because you know SB is just like a whole another area that Nike can build off this year uh, instead of you know regular dunk lows they can just go hard with the SBs create a really uh, create a ton of really good ones and uh, those will go for a lot of money and you know Nike will, at the end of the day, be happy when people are still talking about their brand and, you know, wanting more and more pairs of them. So, but yeah, very simple, laid back SP. I'm a fan of this one because there isn't too much to it, but I mean, that's kind of the nicer part of it is that it isn't like over complicated. Uh, it'd be kind of a nice sneaker for everyday wear. And that's why these ones could potentially do well, I'm saying, is because even though, you know, there's kind of like different parts on it that are like all different. And um, I, mean, I mean, this is actually really nice. The sole matches, actually, now that I see this, this matches with you know the whole heel portion that they have by the sneaker here so now the shoe kind of fits together i guess i could i should have probably seen this you know with the upper that like the whole uh sole is brown and that kind of matches with the heel but seeing that there's actually kind of that pink portion in the center this is actually a pretty cool sb but simple laid back nothing too crazy i think it could do well though the next one i want to discuss though is the sets of bun dunk low again this is rumored to be dropping on sneakers i think it was for april 11th if i'm wrong then it's april 8th it's either april 8th or april uh april 11th so i know that's a different uh definitely a big separate and dates well only a few days but aside from that basic topic i think they actually have it right here uh no yeah 601 that is just not right but aside from that um it's supposed to be dropping over in the u.s here very soon over in april so the prices are going to drop further i mean there already are a little bit of a higher read or 110 dollar retail so after you know taxes everything you're paying like what 120 basically uh so you know pay, with paying 120 you can see there really isn't resale selling these ones of sneakers unless it's bigger sizes these are mainly local profit or you know uh i guess you know if you have a bigger size and profit to apps there 
but this is mainly one of those ones you would just kind of get for the maybe the per uh, personal collection or just kind of holding on to whatever you decide would be best with this dunk glove but i've gotten I ha i've had multiple pairs of this one in hand since uh you know it has released overseas in a couple locations so i've been able to source from like japan places like that um but with this one specifically um you know it it's nice in hand a lot of really good details i definitely if the stock was low i could see it rising a bit but i mean the prices aren't this is one thing i want to mention about this dunk low though i don't think it would just rise a ton all of a sudden because there is you know some people that want it there's some demand uh, i think once more people uh, you know see them loaded up on sneakers it'll have more hype and that'll cause them uh, to you know maybe go up in price a little bit but i don't think after the release these are going to be you know all of a sudden going crazy in price rising like a, a, a lot because initially before the release these aren't really going for a ton there isn't a lot of hype really for these i mean they're nice people want them you can see bigger sizes are doing well like i mean maybe those are lower stock but overall that's what i'm seeing at least it's a good dunk low a lot of nice little details and touches and it has some history behind it because i believe this is for the um setsubon festival if i'm correct if i'm wrong let me know but Overall, I, I think that's what this mask is because it's supposed to resemble the set, uh, Setsubun mask. If that's if that's what you call it, I'm sorry if that is not what you call it. Um, but I, I'm trying to be correct here. Hopefully I am. But there is a festival called Setsubun. I believe it's hosted in Japan. I could be wrong. Um, but these first dropped in Japan. That's why I'm saying that. But aside from that, another one we also have is the ATL Dunk Glow dropping on the 4th of April. Uh, me, and my, me and my boy are going to be going for these. Shout out Arish if you're watching this. Appreciate you, man. Um, yeah, but on the 4th, I know he wants a pair of these. So, you know, I'm going to be uh, running this size too but it should be pretty easy to get these um because i'm already seeing how people are feeling about these and most people are like yo drop we are not rocking with these um but the thing is is that i'm gonna be buying pairs of these because i live like a couple hours from atlanta and i know there's gonna be people wanting these absolutely um e even with you know 120 dollar retail after you know all taxes and everything you'd be paying around 130 i mean these will be easy flips i mean if you have a sneaker store in atl these will sell easily for like 200 dollars there i mean you'll really be able to make some good money on these maybe even 250 and i know people People are going to be like, what? There's no way. These are going to be bricks in stock X. But I promise you, uh, it, it, it's about location sometimes. And, and ATO kind of, you know, exclusive, not exclusive, but uh, shoot is kind of, you know, more dedicated to the city. Uh, I feel like these will definitely, uh, you know, be a good, like not even a bad long-term play, to be honest. I mean, just because... Uh, you know, if you live in Atlanta, I mean, these will always kind of have a market. That's one thing about them. There'll always be people that would want these. But one thing I do want to kind of, uh, you know, I guess say and be wary of is I'd mainly target bigger sizes if you're someone that's just trying to resell the shoe since it, ha it has a lot of potential to brick. But one thing also, Nike has free returns. There's no risk. I mean, you're, you're not at risk. Uh, you know, with going and buying these. You're never really at risk with buying anything off Nike because, again, you can just return it. Like, I mean, there's like 60 days to return something. So you have a lot of time to decide on what you want to do with an item. So it's not like you necessarily have to get these and immediately sell them. But, uh, you know, you have kind of a month or so to decide. But these ones, I mean, if hey, you just hit me up, you know, I'll, I'll be able to flip these uh, down there for you. But, I mean, honestly, it's a good pair, very clean. I, that, that, I mean, I like this one. I, I think the orange swoosh goes well. Uh, I mean, they could have done maybe without this, you know, maybe kind of made this like, you know, this red match together with this. I, I kind of see like, you know, it doesn't really match fully together, but I, I like the unique insole. Um, I like the orange swoosh and how that stands out. I like this, the embroidery uh, right there, kind of, I guess, by the side of the heel, if that makes sense. Uh, but overall, it's a, it's a well done sneaker. Very simple though. And this one's also coming soon, April 6th, uh, Lucky Green Jordan 3. I didn't know this was actually going to be woman sizing uh, only. So up to 12W, very clean pair. I think there's going to be a little bit of demand on these. I think as we get closer to drop day, it loads up and kind of, we, we notice there'll be a bit more stock for them and these might drop in price uh, a bit and not be as good of a flip i still think there could be light profit in the bigger sizes though like 10 and a half w plus i think these will definitely be a dub uh and a good choice to go for because i noticed the uh when i, when I saw actual pictures of these nike kind of gave these a little bit of an aged sole and i noticed that was intentional you know they're trying to give a lot of these shoes recently that reimagined and that aged look uh because they noticed that's where they can you know make a lot of money off and where a lot of people get really hype uh you know on a sneaker and you can even see maybe what i'm talking about you know it's not necessarily like that white uh typical sole you would have it's kind of you know a little bit like it looks like it's been you know sitting in a box a little bit older of a sneaker so just something i wanted to point out but don't forget about that aged look they're doing this a lot on purpose and also the thunder fours these aren't coming in april it's may 13th 
but we may see exclusive access or some of uh you know some sort of release in april i do want to point that out towards the end of the month like some sort of exclusive access to shock drop for these 100 realistic i've been talking uh you know with some early info folks we got in hype labs again don't forget to check us out down below but i've been talking with our guys uh and you know they've said there's definitely a lot of potential for uh a shock drop of these in april maybe even a little bit earlier in april uh kind of like how they did for the reimagined threes keep that in mind they had that shock drop like a, a few weeks before the release you know so people had their pairs earlier uh, and that's something that they could do with these i'm hearing it so just you heard it here first potentially and a couple other ones i want to mention the april skateboards sb i mean this would be such a missed opportunity if nike didn't drop an april skateboards collaboration in april i mean they, they have to be dropping these uh this month i mean if they drop april skateboards in may i'm gonna be like nike really like y'all just kind of like I mean, they're, they're, they already have pairs ready because, I mean, look, we have early pairs, like, people, you know, with them. So, I mean, clearly, uh, it's a matter of, you know, just when they decide to drop them, I guess. But sooner or later, this blue suede hits very, very well. I'm kind of liking also this uh, unique white cage that we have underneath uh, kind of this, I, not necessarily, I guess it's un it's underneath the swoosh. I mean, the metallic swoosh is really cool as well, kind of that reflective look. Uh, and also, you know, the April logo that is just embroidered right there. But this kind of reminds me of... Um, what what is the pair called the um turbo greens it reminds me of the, uh reminds me of the turbo green jordan one a little bit uh with the suede uh that we have you know the colorway is very similar uh and it also looks like it's like the exact same type of material uh, but also icy soles on these we can't ignore this bro i mean this is such a well done pair uh, i'm gonna be needing a pair of these maybe for the personal but definitely to review so stay tuned we'll 100 have that we'll have the thunder fours as well all that to review here because uh you know i know those are pairs y'all want and i just want to show uh, you know some pictures of these because they're dropping in may also who doesn't want the hurry does sb i mean these are super super hyped we know that so i mean people have been talking about these since last year i still need to try the hurry drink i've never tried it um i'm hoping it's good uh well well i'm not i'm not hoping for that i know it's good I, that, <laughs> i'm not worried about that i like sugary stuff so i mean i'm gonna like the drink it's just like i need to try it so next time in it uh next time i'm in, uh, I'm in atlanta i'll try that because it was there but aside from that uh let me know what y'all are thinking about these pairs uh which ones will you be copping which ones will you be dropping what are you looking forward to uh in the coming months april uh let me know are you looking forward to that thunder Four shock drop and don't forget to check us out down below start cooking more pairs with us at hype labs and you guys if you become a member today go join that wait list or join a waiting room down below which is completely free to do um then yeah you'll get entered into this giveaway for that not if you join the waiting room but if you become a member today uh, join that wait list we'll give you a response within 24 hours and then you can go enter in this right here but all of our features that we offer so many things free seo i mean i hit 10 pairs of pandas with one of our botters today so we can really show you how to get set up and ready for a release like this so i appreciate you guys i'm ending the screen recording and hopefully uh you know again i'll see y'all down below on the wait list or ask your questions down below let me know what you're looking forward to and i'll catch you all in the next one soon guys Peace.